Born in Paris and raised in Poland, Roman Polanski's childhood was marked by unimaginable trauma. The outbreak of World War II and the horrors of the Holocaust had a profound impact on his early life. Surviving the Krakow ghetto, Polanski experienced firsthand the atrocities of war and the loss of his mother to the concentration camps. These harrowing experiences would later influence the themes and tones of his work. Despite the darkness of his early years, Polanski found solace and expression in film. It became a medium through which he could process and articulate his complex experiences. Polanski's tumultuous childhood laid the groundwork for a career that would be characterized by its psychological depth, dark themes, and an often unsettling exploration of the human condition. Roman Polanski's rise in the world of cinema was marked by a flair for the unconventional. His early films, characterized by their psychological complexity and visual innovation, quickly established him as a rising star in European cinema. Polanski's films were not just stories, they were explorations of the human psyche, often delving into themes of isolation, fear, and paranoia. Losing control. Repulsion. A shocking plunge into the nightmare world of a young woman's sensual fantasies. His unique vision and approach to storytelling caught the attention of Hollywood, paving the way for his transition to the American film industry. In Hollywood, Polanski would find a larger stage for his talents. His European sensibilities blended with American filmmaking, creating a new and exciting cinematic language. Roman Polanski's mastery of film reached new heights with a series of movies that not only achieved critical acclaim, but also left an indelible mark on the landscape of cinema. With Rosemary's Baby, Polanski redefined horror, blending psychological thriller elements with stark realism, creating a sense of unease that resonated with audiences worldwide. Go on, sit down with the others, let Rosemary rock you. Well, she's liable Sit down to with the others, Laura Louise. In Chinatown, Polanski's intricate storytelling and the film's iconic ending spoke to his skill in navigating and subverting genre conventions. The Pianist was not just a cinematic triumph, but a deeply personal project for Polanski. It was a reflection of his own experiences, a tale of resilience amid the darkest chapters of history. Polanski's films, marked by their narrative depth and visual artistry, earned him not just accolades, but a place among the great auteurs of his time. In 1969, Roman Polanski faced unimaginable personal tragedy. His wife, Sharon Tate, pregnant with their first child, was brutally murdered by members of the Manson family, a crime that horrified the world. Tate's murder marked a turning point in Polanski's life and career. The event not only robbed him of his family, but also cast a long shadow over his personal and professional life. I could see that everybody saw it from his angle, you know, his point of view, and was look, looking for the culprits in the area which would be somehow related to the way he was thinking. The tragedy became a media sensation, enveloping Polanski in a narrative of loss and horror that transcended his work in cinema. In the years that followed, Polanski's work began to reflect his personal anguish. His films took on a darker tone, exploring themes of loss, betrayal, and the fragility of the human psyche. In 1977, Roman Polanski pled guilty to the charge of unlawful sexual intercourse with a minor. His victim was only 13 years old. I just, when he said, you know, leave the shirt off, I just thought, if he's asking me to do it, there must be a reason. This is part of the job. Mm. And, and remember, you're the innocent party here. Right, right. You're 13. He's yes. 43. Right. The following year in 1978, the day before his sentencing hearing, Roman Polanski fled the country to Europe, where he continues to live to this day. This moment marked the beginning of Polanski's lengthy exile from Hollywood. Despite his absence, the case remained a topic of debate and speculation in the media and public discourse. In the years that followed, the unresolved legal situation in Polanski's exile would continue to influence perceptions of his life and work. Four
Following his departure from the United States, Roman Polanski found a haven in Europe. Despite the looming controversy, he continues to pursue his passion for filmmaking, albeit far from Hollywood's limelight. In Exile, Polanski's talent as a filmmaker remained undeniable. He directed several acclaimed films, proving that his creative spirit could thrive even in the face of personal and professional challenges. While Europe offered Polanski a creative sanctuary, his legal situation cast a shadow over his achievements. The unresolved case in the U.S. was a constant backdrop to his life and work. Polanski's story is a complex tapestry of artistic brilliance, personal controversy, and legal ambiguity. His life in Europe embodies this complexity, a juxtaposition of success and exile. Roman Polanski's life in exile was continually overshadowed by ongoing legal battles. For years, he navigated a complex web of legal proceedings, both in Europe and in the United States. The efforts to extradite Polanski to the United States became a prolonged saga, involving multiple legal systems and a series of high-profile court decisions. Each legal development reignited public interest and debate. The case became not just about Polanski, but a broader discussion on justice, extradition laws, and the treatment of celebrities in the legal system. Despite the legal turmoil, Polanski continued to work, creating films that were often seen through the lens of his personal and legal struggles. The film industry's reaction to Roman Polanski's legal troubles and subsequent exile was as varied as it was complex. While some distanced themselves from the director, others voiced support and continued to laud his artistic contributions. In Hollywood and European cinema, Polanski remained a figure of contention. His case sparked a broader conversation about accountability, redemption, and the legacy of artists with troubled personal histories. Even as Polanski faced legal and public scrutiny, his films continued to receive accolades reflecting the enduring admiration for his craft within the industry. The industry's divided stance on Polanski mirrors the larger social debate about how to evaluate the work of individuals embroiled in scandal. Public perception of Roman Polanski is a study in contrasts. While some celebrate his cinematic genius, others are unable to separate his art from his personal controversies. Polanski's situation sparked widespread debate. Questions about justice, morality, and the consequences of criminal actions against artistic achievements became central to discussions about his legacy. The debate extends beyond Polanski himself, touching on broader issues within the entertainment industry and society at large regarding accountability and the treatment of celebrities in legal matters. As new generations come to know Polanski's work, they grapple with these complex issues, reflecting the changing societal norms and attitudes towards artists with troubled pasts. Roman Polanski's life and career are a tapestry of brilliant cinematic achievements, overshadowed by personal scandals and legal troubles. His legacy, as a result, remains a contentious and debated topic. In film history, Polanski is revered as a master storyteller and a visionary director. Yet his personal actions and the subsequent legal battles have led many to view him through a lens of moral ambiguity. The questions of how to reconcile Polanski's artistic genius with his personal actions remains a dilemma. It challenges the notion of separating the art from the artist. As new generations encounter his work, they too must navigate the intricate interplay between Polanski's undeniable influence on cinema and the darker aspects of his personal life. <laughs>